Shall we one more time lift up our two hands to heaven and give God thanks for the answered prayers today. Give God thanks for a brand new day that we have been privileged to see again. Celebrate and magnify him. There is none like him. Zerushala garadato zino. E prodizarado sarakalo tapretona. Zezuzurade sharade zuze. E prodia la craktanara duze. Yashagarada praktanara duze zune. Father, we give you thanks and praise. Thank you again and again and again. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Amen. Ask him in one minute, speak to me again this morning. All the people came to him early in the morning for to hear him. Speak to me again, Jesus, today. Speak to me again today. In the name of Jesus, speak to me again today and by your word, open a new chapter to my life. Speak to me again and by your word, open a new chapter to my life. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Father, honor your word today and let your word have an entrance into everyone's life. And by the light of your word, change our levels again. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and please, you may be seated. Understanding the power of the prayer altar. That's what we've been looking at since Monday as an exhortation line for this week at the Covenant Hour of Prayer. Understanding is so vital to the result you obtain in any engagement in the kingdom. In Matthew chapter 13 and verse 23, talking about the parable of the sower, he said, but he that received the seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some a hundred fold and some sixty and some thirty. The variable in that statement is understanding all the hearts are equally good. So you have the results according to the levels of understanding of individual. So what we make out of any truth is a function of our level of understanding of that truth. The more understanding we have the greater command we gain. So it's not enough to be involved in a revival. We must have an understanding of what is innate for us. What we stand to assess, receive, and manifest as a result of our engagement. And that's what we've been trying to look at. Because when that understanding is there, uh, the profiting is guaranteed. And the level of that understanding determines the level of profiting. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. At a Zona Pastors Forum, I was telling them that um, if you hang around someone who talks to you in the course of a service, you don't know what you are missing. At the time your word is coming, that's when the gainsayer is talking. All the pastors in church know that you don't come near me when I'm in church. He said, I sent for you to go and get something done. No. At that time, I'm wrapped up, ready to hear from God, from the singing, from the prayer, and from everything. It's all about understanding. Well, if you see me, when I release your word, it shall be yours. If you don't, you've lost it. We need a lot of understanding in this area. If you hang around somebody who talks to you, change your position. Let him be talking to himself. So you can get what you're looking for. Now, but what is in the prayer altar for us in a revival and at all times? 
kingdom advancement prayer entitles believers to open rewards. You don't have to announce how you pray. The results will show whether you are in prayers or you are not. Whether you are engaging the prayer altar or you are not. Because he said, God who sees you in secret praying, he will reward you openly. Matthew chapter 6 verse 6. In the same vein, God who sees your prayer and fasting in secret, he will reward you openly. Verses 17 and 18 of the same chapter. So open rewards is, only, is the only proof that your prayer investment is yielding results. And I will tell you what, obtain, what awaits each one of us this year. Undeniable, notable, open rewards. Can I hear your amen? amen? Every engagement of the prayer altar this time will result into notable and undeniable open rewards. The whole of Judah prayed and fasted for three days and God showed up in response and they won the war without shooting an arrow. As the Lord liveth, every engagement of the prayer altar this time will lead to open, notable, and undeniable rewards in your life. Say, so God who sees us in secret praying, he will reward us openly. He will reward us openly. He will reward us openly. In Ezra chapter 8 and verse 21 to 23, a fast was proclaimed at River Ahava to seek a right way from the Lord and for us and for our little ones and for all our substance. And the Bible says, so we fasted and besought our God for this, and he was entreated of us. So they had a thorough passage, even a thorough fear through the wilderness. There was no harassment of the uh, robbers and the rovers on the way. Praise the Lord. Open rewards. Get ready for it. I said, get ready for it. Get ready for it. Jesus went to the Mount of Transfiguration praying, and when he came back, they saw the mighty power of God. As he dealt with that madman of Gadarin, the people were all amazed at the mighty power of God. Amen. That was open reward. As that demoniac saw him, he just couldn't stand his presence. Open rewards. Every genuine engagement of the prayer altar culminates in open rewards. Yours shall not be an exemption. Amen. We've had so many testimonies in this church. You almost must be listed this time. Amen. Can I hear your loudest? Amen. Amen. Can I hear your loudest? Amen. Amen. I had the prompting to be at our main church in Ibadan yesterday. And I only had that prompting that was so strong uh, late Monday. And the place could not take the people. The crowd was overwhelming. We are in a revival. We are in a revival. If you watch it, it will pass by. If you engage it, you will be a living proof at the end of the day. My prayer again is that your open rewards will be notable and undeniable. Yeah. So engage. I think this is one month God wants to know where your heart is. They say outreach, you say I'm too old. Outreach, I'm too shy. Okay, pray. <laughs> okay, pray now. I mean, <laughs> pray. Pray. And it will show tomorrow. I've had series of times and again on the mountains. There was no time I prayed for something for me in terms of material, in terms of give me tea, give me suit, give me shoes. And I, 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 I tell you the truth in Christ, I lie not, I've never prayed for a house. No. <laughs> One day I was going to Kaduna and the B2 was doing what he you know, does or did most of the time. Anytime a tail is coming, you have to slow down, otherwise it will take the leave, the 
mouth of the beetle. <laughs> and I said, look, if I had a bigger car, it would make this journey faster. That's what I said. I didn't say God if I had. I said, if I have a bit. And then it came the same day. Came the same day. I said, can't you wait for us to even pray before you answer? I'm not looking for the car to go to anywhere. So just to, to do what I'm doing. And I'm not praying about it anyway. I'm just saying if I had. <laughs> Praise God. Just hold Matthew 6.33 precious to yourself. And watch what colorful additions will be coming to your life from time to time. Can I hear your loudness? Amen. Amen. What is in the prayer altar for us? The prayer altar is the altar of revelations. Come and say altar of revelations. Say it loud. Altar of revelations. Thou will show me the part of life. Where? In thy presence. The altar of prayer is the altar of revelation. Psalm 16 verse 11. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace where God is seated. To obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. The altar of prayer is the altar of revelation. For thou will show me the path of life as I engage your presence. As a lifestyle, you keep flowing in revelation naturally as you engage the prayer altar. The altar of prayer is the altar of revelation. In Matthew chapter, I mean Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 6, is this not the first that I have chosen? And in the same in verse 8. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy head shall spring forth speedily. The breaking forth of light just means explosive revelation. Hmm? Explosive revelation is part of the treasures available to us on the prayer altar. Call upon me and I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. What must I do to get out of this predicament? I will answer you and I show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. The altar of prayer is the altar of revelation. The altar of prayer is the altar of revelation. The altar of prayer is the altar of revelation. And revelation is the guarantee for our supernatural change of position. Arise and shine because your light is come. And who are these that fly as a cloud? Then a little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I will hasten this in his time. So with revelation, you are entitled to dramatic change of position or supernatural change of position. It takes you from walking, running into flying. Who are these that fly as a cloud? It changes your status supernaturally from a person eh, to a thousand in one. And not only that, from a small one to a strong nation. So it's all tied up together. The altar of prayer is there for the altar of supernatural change of position. Because by revelation, you change position supernaturally. By revelation, you change position supernaturally. It's not just about doing something. It's about the understanding back of what you are doing. When the understanding is in place, the result is guaranteed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And then, of course, the altar of prayer number three is the altar of divine intervention. The altar of prayer is the altar of divine intervention. The altar of prayer is the altar of divine intervention. The altar of prayer. We saw that clearly in the testimony of Nehemiah. He engaged in three weeks of prayer and fasting for the beauty and the glory of Jerusalem to be restored. And he asked God for mercy. You can read that on your own. Nehemiah chapter 1 and verse 14 or verse 4 to 11. He prayed that prayer for God to show him mercy before the king. And then dramatically the king came in and said, Now, what exactly do you want? And the Lord granted him all that he desired. According to the good hand of God that was upon him. Verse 8. And did your usual. 
gave him letters to collect wood, gave him a letter to get security, and he was taken through to Jerusalem uh, as a king. Divine intervention will change anybody's story like a dream of the night. Nehemiah will rise out of this prayer, made, prayer session. I mean, restorers of the glory of the land will rise. People will come down with divine ideas and will enjoy divine favor in carrying them around. Nigeria will not go down. This nation will not be wiped out. The condition will remain the same. A change is in the offering. And this prayer altar will birth new generation Nehemiahs who will obtain favor from the Lord and know what to do to enhance the better life of God's people and better life of people of the land in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The altar of prayer is the altar of divine intervention. The walls of Jerusalem were broken down and burned with fire. The glory of the land was departed. And then somebody engaged in prayers for the land and God had mercy and gave him favor. And then supernaturally, the, 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 the shame of many years was wiped away in 52 days. How many days? 52 days. In 52 days was wiped out. The Bible says, so the war was finished, Nehemiah 6, 15. And I mean, in the 20th, 20, 20th and 5th day of the month of Elul, in 52 days only, the shame of any year was wiped out in 52 days. Now, there is no trace of shame that followed anybody into the month of July that will ever remain there again. Yeah. And the challenges of, our, this, of this great nation will pass away like a dream of the night. Yeah. How God will do it, nobody knows. But when we pray, he steps in. And when he steps in, things change. Things will change positively for you, yeah. for your household, yeah. for your business, in your career, and in a great nation. Dramatic turnaround. Dramatic turnaround. Dramatic turnaround. Because the altar of prayer is the altar of divine intervention. They were going to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. And then Daniel and his companions stood in the place of prayer. And that siege was averted. Daniel chapter 2 verse 16 to 19 give us time and they spend that time in prayers and god intervened supernaturally to the point that the killer had to bow down to worship daniel daniel 2 46 then the king nebuchadnezzar the wicked killer king fell upon his face and worshiped daniel who was to be killed and commanded that they should offer an oblation and sweet odors unto him divine intervention from the altar of prayer. Whatever seems to be threatening your life, as you engage the prayer altar seeking for the kingdom of God, they shall be averted like a dream of the night. Yeah. Somebody excited about that? Stand to your feet. Grace to engage the prayer altar with new prayer fire all through the remaining days of this month. Come and now begin to receive it and beyond. There's a lot for us from the prayer altar. A lot. There's a lot for us on the prayer altar. A lot of treasures. A lot of treasures. A lot of treasures. Notable, undeniable, open rewards await us on the prayer altar. Explosive revelations that change people's position supernaturally. It's available to, for us on the prayer altar. Divine interventions that deliver us like a dream of the night. It's available for us on the prayer altar. Take that grace, everybody. Take it right now. Take that grace. Grace to engage the prayer altar fervently all through this season and beyond. Come on, take it, 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 
there is no substitute to effective engagement on the prayer altar for our desire to change your position. Take it right now. 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 Redoli Ali, Praktano Rade Zosia. Blessed be your name in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up those two hands. May this year be indeed a year of open rewards. For everyone engaging with this move of the spirit, with this great revival, may this year be a year of spiritual change of position for everyone. I pray that this year will be one year you will live to remember. Everything about you is changing position. And that positively. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's declared a season of divine interventions for you. This is declared a season of explosive revelation for you. And by the word of the Lord, everything spoken for this season will find manifestation in your life. So shall it be. In Jesus' precious name. Well, good news. Amen. This week is the third convocation of Landmark University. The same way is happening there without sweat. Your struggles over the issues of life must end this time. The blessings of the Lord, it make it rich and added no sorrow. There shall be no more sorrow around your habitation. This is nothing but the doing of the Lord and it's marvelous in our eyes and will return all the glory to him. In the same vein, the greatest events of your life will be stress-free. Yeah. You will not build a house struggling. Yeah. You will not live in any house sweating. Yeah. You will not build a house and not find sleep in it. Yeah. The same way this is happening without any form of indebtedness throughout your life. Everything about you will be just God's blessing and expression. So shall it be. Lift up those two hands and bless the name of the Lord for being a partaker of this great revival in the name of Jesus. Give him thanks. Give him glory. Lift your voice to heaven. Give God thanks. Glorify his holy name. His worthy of praise. Give him all the praise, the glory, the honor that is due unto his name and celebrate him. Give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. Our God is faithful, is worthy, celebrate him. Is faithful, is worthy, celebrate him. Is faithful, is worthy, celebrate him. Father, we thank you. You are worthy of all the praise. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, mighty God. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we have prayed. Somebody believes a loud amen. amen. As we go forth, let's be reminded, the flyers are available. As we go forth, let us cast that sickle forth, and it shall bring forth a glorious harvest. Be reminded, the midweek service takes place this evening. Come ready for an encounter with the Lord. Let's share the goodness of the Lord together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. From glory to glory. And from glory to glory. Congratulations. Congratulations somebody as you go. Be blessed.